College and exams are finished for the year now. Which means I should have a lot more time to film videos or not film videos depending on how lazy I am this summer. This summer I'm going to try really hard to not stay in my room all summer and to go out and do as much as I possibly can. Because ooh, Swinny chair. But this summer I'm going to try really hard to not do that and go out as much as possible and have new experiences, try new things and have lots of fun. And so far I think that's going quite well. On Friday, it was my friend Izzy and Sophie's birthday, so we went to the Harvester, very classy place to go on a Friday night, and then we went back to Sophie's house, had a good time. Here's some photos of that if that's what you're into. Then on Saturday, I went to London with Jacob. We went to Southbank and we saw a little street performance. We met Mr. Bean. Very fun. I had a great time. We went to the Festival of Love. Ooh, yeah, a couple things. It was nothing to do with couples. And we made birds. I think you can tell that's a bird. I don't really know. Um, I think I'm going to hang this on my ceiling. And then we went to the Rainforest Cafe and got smoothies, which was the best thing ever. And we went to Wagamama's after because, yeah. Yeah. Then yesterday I went to Hastings with my family and we went to some old antique shops and I got a few records. First of all I picked up this by the Beatles if you can't see those massive letters there. Inside there's a Tumblr collage, look at that. Beatles doing things before the cool kids did. That was £4. Then I picked up this, Bob Marley Live. That was £6. I haven't listened to it yet so I hope it works. And finally Queen. Only £3. It was so cheap. I don't understand. Like, I pay more for that for records in charity shops. So that's what I've done this weekend. So I've had two days off so far and I think I've done quite well in two days of summer holidays. So hopefully that's going to keep going. Hopefully over the summer I'm going to learn how to drive because that would be a really useful thing for me because I wouldn't have to get the bus to college and I could stay out like later than half seven because that's when the last bus is home. Like, can you imagine how much better my life will be if I have a car? And obviously for that I'm going to need to get a job, even though there are no jobs around here because I live in the middle of nowhere. The other thing is summer homework and personal statement. Duh! I'm so scared. I just keep thinking about it. I've only had two days off and that's I'm thinking about it already. It's really worrying. But hopefully at some point I'm just going to get it done, you know? And then I'll just be free. I want to do loads of creative fun things. I want to make things and sell things and do tutorials and it's gonna be great it's gonna be fun stick around hopefully if i'm getting out and doing those of things there'll be more things to film interesting things to film for like little adventure vlog Woo. look at this tiny coat hanger one more thing i think it's finally time to say goodbye to this hoodie it's taking up space in my wardrobe and i don't wear it you may be wondering why i think it's necessary to tell you that but you may remember this photo from twitter and this one literally the highlight of my twitter career see it doesn't look that bad it's like up to my belly though it's so short and then hood yeah swag that's not swag what do the end ups people do <laughs> let's shrink a bit and and that is why i think i need to get rid of this so yeah Whoever you are, whatever you're doing, I'll see you all next week. Bye. But the thing is, you don't know the person, you don't know them at all. You don't know how they act around their friends, how they were at school. You don't know what they're really like, you don't know what they're capable of. They could be capable of mass murder, but you aren't showing that side because you're a fan. And I think it's very fair to say that recent events in the YouTube community reflect this.